Hello viewers, welcome back again to today's class. And the topic of a discussion today, so the subject of discussion today is history, form four. The topic of discussion is the Commonwealth. And the, the subtopic of discussion today is organization of the Commonwealth. Or rather, the, how is the Commonwealth organized? And the channel you're watching is Elimu TV. Your teacher is Roger Michira, your history tutor. Welcome all, and let us learn. Now class, we have already looked at the, some of the principles what are some of the uh, principles and ideals of Commonwealth? Then also, we did look at what are some of the characteristics of the Commonwealth nations. How can you identify a Commonwealth, a Commonwealth uh, state? Then we said, for example, they share they share common uh, common language, which is, which is English. They go to recognize the Queen of England as the head. Then they talk of the the cultural ties. For example, the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth uh, Games. Right? Those are some of the characteristics of commonwealth states now today class we get to look at the organization of commonwealth right how is it organized what are some of the organs of the commonwealth right and by the end of the lesson class what do we expect we'll be able to explain the structure of the commonwealth what is the structure how is the structure how is it structured now straight to our lesson let us get to the structure of the commonwealth Right, we have a table there. Now let us get to look at what is the first structure of Commonwealth. What is that first structure? Good. We have the head of state summits. Right? We get to look at what are the what, what are the heads of state summits? Right? What are they? Good. That's the first structure. Then we also have the ministerial meetings. Right? What are they? We get to look at that when we get deeper into these uh, the, the, the departments or the structure. In the, um, that's the second structure, which is the ministerial meetings. Then finally, we have the secretariat, right? We get to look at the secretariat. Who are, who are they? Now, as you can see that, that is the structure of the Commonwealth, the heads of state summits, the ministerial meetings, and finally, the secretariat. Now, can you get to heads of state? Who are they? Then we get to realize that the heads of state, or the heads of government, meet for every week. For a week, sorry, they, they get to meet for a week for every two years. The meetings can be done in a Commonwealth countries, right? For example, if Kenya is a, for example, Kenya is a Commonwealth country, they get to meet in Kenya, right? If uh, Uganda is a Commonwealth country, they get to meet in Uganda. So they meet for a whole week for every two years. But again, you must have to know that whenever an issue uh, an issue arises, right, an emerging issue that requires attention of all the heads of government or heads of state, they can call for a meeting, not necessarily uh, for the two years, but as stipulated in their principles that they meet uh, for a whole week for every two years. Now, for example, you can see that, that's the heads of state meeting, right? That's the heads of state meeting, which involves all the heads of state. Or if, if, if the head of the state is a prime minister, so the prime minister attends. If the president, the president attends, right? Now, it only comprises of all the heads of government or heads of state. Having looked at the heads of state summits, right? Let us go to the second uh, structure, which is the ministerial meetings. What are they? Now, they are held regularly, right? So the Commonwealth Ministers of Finance, Foreign Affairs, and the Defense meet once a year. Now, these are the ministers. Right, the Commonwealth ministers. That is why it's called the ministerial meetings. So the Commonwealth minister, minister of finance, right, foreign affairs and defence. For example, if, if if Kenya was to send if Kenya was to send um, members to the Commonwealth, right, the minister of finance is Okuriyatani. We could have sent Okuriyatani. Talk of foreign avia, uh, affairs. We have got Amina, right. Then we have got defence. Rachel Mamo. Good. Now, those are the ministers that we were to send to the Commonwealth meet uh, ministerial meetings. Now, it, uh, it comprises of the finance, Minister of Finance, Foreign Affairs, and also the Defense Minister. And one thing we all know is that they meet once every year. But again, when an issue arises that uh, requires attention from these uh, ministers of states, then they can call for a meeting. Now, look at that. That's the, the, that, that is the, the annual Com Commonwealth Finance Ministers meeting. Right? So the ministers of, of finance, they get to meet. Ministers of foreign affairs get to meet. Ministers of um, defense get also to meet. I've given you a good example of the annual Commonwealth Finance Ministers meeting. Now, finally, let us get to look at uh, the Commonwealth Secretariat as a structure or, or rather as an organ. So 
the Secretariat was established back in the year 1965, and it has got a number of functions. For example, encouraging those projects that will be of some benefit to the Commonwealth members. What are some of those projects that can benefit these members? Right. So it is the Common, uh, Commonwealth Secretariat that gets to uh, encourage and, uh, and, and stipulate or rather write down those projects that are beneficial. Then again, they get to organize the ministers, the prime ministers' conferences. That's the work of the secretary, right? They get to organize some of these conferences, the summits, right, which takes uh, every two years as well as other conferences. Then finally, it circulates information on anything of general interest. That's the work of the secretary, right? It circulates information. When there's an information of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, general interest to the member states, it is the secretary that makes aware or circulates, circulates the information to these other member states. Then finally, class, let us get to look at the Commonwealth agencies. What are they, right? For example, the Commonwealth Agricultural Bureau, it mainly concerns the assisting countries in agricultural production by providing technical assistance and researching in the field of agriculture. So the Agricultural Bureau takes uh, much of its time in, in development of agriculture. Then finally, the, la the, the final uh, agency we have is the Commonwealth Regional Health. And we must get to realize that this regional health works in hand in hand with the World Health Organization to improve the health and the general hygiene of the Commonwealth of uh, the people of Commonwealth member countries. Now, the regional health works hand in hand with WHO to ensure that health is uh, achieved by all member states. Now, class for our activity. Can we get to state some of the functions of, of the Secretariat of the Commonwealth? And for a reference, get to refer to evolving world, history, and government. And as always, this is a Limu TV, your favorite learning uh, station where you get to watch and learn.